SOS Audio presents The Melancholy of Haruhi Suzumiya, the fan audiobook written by Nagaru Tanigawa. Prologue. When did I stop believing in Santa Claus? In truth, this sort of silly question holds no real significance for me. However, if you were to ask me when I stopped believing that the old man wearing the red suit was Santa, then I can confidently say, I have never believed in Santa Claus. Ever. I knew that the Santa Claus who appeared at my preschool Christmas party was a fraud, and now that I think about it, every one of my classmates shared the same look of disbelief watching our teacher pretend to be Santa. Although I had never seen Mommy kissing Santa Claus, I was already wise enough to be suspicious about the existence of an old man who worked only on Christmas Eve. However, it took me quite a bit longer to realize that the aliens, time travelers, ghosts, monsters, and espers, and those effects-filled good guys versus evil organization cartoons didn't actually exist either. No. Wait. I probably did realize. I just didn't want to admit it. Deep inside my heart, I still wanted those aliens, time travelers, ghosts, monsters, espers, and evil organizations to suddenly appear. Compared to this boring, normal life of mine, the world of those flashy shows was much more exciting. I wanted to live in that world too. I wanted to be the one who saved the girl kidnapped by aliens and imprisoned in a bowl-like fortress. I wanted to be the one who used my courage, intelligence, and trusty laser gun to battle against villains from the future trying to change history for their own gain. I wanted to be someone who could banish demons and monsters with a single spell, battle against mutants or psychics from evil organizations, and engage in telepathic fights. But wait, calm down. If I really were attacked by aliens or whatever, how could I ever possibly fight against them? I don't even have any special powers. Well then, how about this? One day, a mysterious new student transfers to my school. Except he's really an alien or from the future. And he has telepathic abilities. When he gets into a fight with the bad guys, all I need to do is find a way to get involved in his war. He'll handle all the fighting, and I can just be his flunky sidekick. Oh my god, this is great. I am so clever. Or maybe, if that doesn't work, how about this? One day, a mysterious power inside me awakens, something like a telekinetic or a psychic ability. I discover that a lot of other people in this world also had similar powers, and then some sort of paranormal society recruits me. I'll become part of this organization and protect the world from evil mutants. Unfortunately, reality is surprisingly cruel. No one got transferred to my class. I've never seen a UFO. When I went to places that were rumored to be haunted, nothing showed up. Two hours of intense staring didn't make my pencil move a single millimeter, and glaring at my classmate's head didn't reveal his thoughts to me either. I couldn't help but get depressed at how normal the laws of physics were. I began to stop watching for UFOs and paying attention to paranormal TV shows because I finally convinced myself it was impossible. I even reached a point where I only had a sense of nostalgia for those things. After junior high, I completely grew out of that fantasy world and became utterly grounded in reality. Nothing happened in 1999, even though I kept hoping, just a bit, that something would. Mankind hadn't returned to the moon, or gone beyond it. I suppose, from the way things are looking, that I'll be long dead before you can book a round trip from Earth to Alpha Centauri. With those sorts of pedestrian thoughts in mind, I became a normal, carefree senior high student. That is, until I met Suzumiya Haruhi.